You're listening to KSG Podcast. This is a short, crisp, concise, exam-oriented, edited editorial for civil services aspirants. In this podcast, we are going to talk about the challenges in use of biofuels. Source for the content is Somit Tiwari's article for this statesman. Carbon emissions from the use of fossil fuels have been identified as one of the primary drivers of global warming today. Over the last few decades, pollution levels have increased at an alarming rate. This necessitates the implementation of coordinated initiatives to reduce pollution from multiple sources. The automobile industry has been highlighted as being one of the top sources sources of fossil fuel emissions this can be due to the widespread use of fossil fuels in the automobiles on the roads across the world to minimize pollutant concentrations new technologies aimed at reducing the amount of fossil fuel utilized by automotive engines are urgently needed indeed it is critical to recognize that the issues associated with automotive emissions are not simply confined to pollution but also pose several health risks to people there have been several efforts to solve the issue of pollution caused by automobiles these efforts have varied but they have all tried to reduce the number of pollutants produced by the use of fossil fuels in automotive engines attempts varying from engine modifications to hybrid vehicle development and the use of special environmentally friendly fuels such as biofuels are all aimed at making the world a cleaner place overall the matter of automotive pollution has been managed from a variety of perspectives but it is necessary to examine the specific technologies that have been produced to determine whether they efficiently solve the issue of pollution or exacerbate it however with the rise in global population the number of vehicles has risen at a rapid rate creating a major challenge to society in terms of pollution as a result technology remains the only option for reducing the number of pollutants produced by automotive use different technologies have been promoted and include enhanced gasoline and diesel technology hybrid cars with fuel cell technology and the use of biofuels as a substitute for conventional fuels biofuel technology has evolved in uh, recent years and it has been approved in several countries as a viable alternative to fossil fuels such as gasoline and diesel biofuel technology consists of two products bioethanol and biodiesel but various hurdles must be overcome to promote the use of biofuels as a viable alternative source of energy the procurement of feedstock and the scaling up of levels of output to be able to generate the fuels on a wide scale are two issues There is also the issue of engine modifications to guarantee that a vehicle can run entirely on biofuels as most existing engines can only run on a combination of biofuels and uh, diesel or petrol biofuels involve the use of biomass as a source of energy by decomposing these biomass products a suitable byproduct is created and this product is utilized as a substitute for fossil fuels in internal combustion engines as previously noted the growing discussion about the need to minimize the amount of pollution caused by the use of fossil fuels in internal combustion engines has fueled the usage of biofuels the most popular biofuel technology focuses on the manufacture of biofuels from bio mass based waste such as agricultural manure agricultural residues and animal byproducts one of the most compelling arguments for using biofuels technology is the enormous amount of waste products that are easily accessible most of these wastes can be found in high concentrations in local areas and the conversion of wastes to biofuels also stimulates the production of another byproduct that can be used as fertilizers biofuels on the other hand are promoted as a unique possibility because of their capacity to fit effectively with existing fuel distribution networks in most countries given the huge amount of domestic production it is important to remember that biofuels provide enormous growth prospects for businesses there are several negative environmental consequences related to the use of biofuels one of which has been linked to the heat trapping of emissions which is thought to cause global warming to some extent the impact of the biofuel manufacturing process is determined by the type of feedstock used as well as the manufacturing methods inputs and assumptions involved in the process there are also growing concerns about the conversion of huge areas of land for uh, growing crops to produce biofuels there is a need to assure that difficulties linked to the trapping of heat by biofuels are addressed depending on the source of biofuel used the decrease in greenhouse gas emissions that is ghg emissions that can be obtained by its use could be significant there are some gases emitted that are potentially dangerous such as nitrogen to oxide which must be thoroughly addressed before biofuel technology can be implemented in any company 
There are some gases emitted that are potentially dangerous such as uh, nitrogen second oxide which must be thoroughly addressed before biofuel technology can be implemented in any company. As a result, while considering the adoption of biofuel technology, it is critical to evaluate some factors before the technology can be regarded as successful. Through the application and implementation of sustainable agriculture and management practices, the negative environmental effects connected with the use of biofuels can be avoided. It is critical to think about the feedstock you will use, which will be influenced by the general demand for biofuels. There may also be a consideration for the creation of fuels that are most suited to the biofuels manufacturing process. This covers the development of novel liquid uh, hydrocarbon fuels made from cellulosic biomass sources. It's also essential to examine the biofuels' burning process. This is because the type of combustion employed will define the size of the impact on the environment. The most efficient way to use biofuels is to burn them immediately in engines to generate heat and electricity rather than converting them to liquid fuels like ethanol. That's it for this podcast. Thank you so much for listening. To join KSG India courses and to crack the ICE exam, visit ksjindia.com. You can also get a PDF of this podcast on ksjindia.com. Thanks for listening.